name is Wheat Peeler and I'm a farmer and I'm here to show you my garden. <laughs> what up y'all? Wheat Peeler in the house. Wheat Peeler at my house. I'm finally doing the garden vlog, alright? Contrary to belief, FIFA players do go outside, alright? I have other hobbies other than FIFA and I'm here to show you one of them today. You guys really wanted the garden vlog. This is for you, Tommy Budge. I know you guys want this, so check it out. Even if you're not into flowers, man, you cannot look at them and be like, eh, those are crap, dude. They're really awesome, alright? Welcome to the humble abode of Wheat Peeler. This is my house. This is my garage. That's my car. Good stuff. Uh, I'm just going to kind of go over the garden, see what's blooming, what's not blooming, what will be blooming. I uh, kind of just go over it and give you guys a little insight onto what I do other than FIFA. All right, I like to grow stuff. Pretty cool. These right here, they are done and over with. This is a spreading phlox. Pretty cool, but nothing really to show you now except some foliage. These are gladiolus. I went gladiolus crazy. I've got some over there. I've got some, uh, all those little tall stalks right there. Those are gladiolus. They get a real big shoot up the middle of them, and they have flowers coming out on each side. They are gorgeous. There is so many of them, so many different colors this year. I think I planted around 120 bulbs. They're perennials. They come back every year. The problem is where I live, we get frost, and the ground freezes, and it kills them, so I have to dig them up in the fall, which is going to be a nightmare. Didn't really think about that too much when I planted 100 of them, but I will be digging those up in the fall. These ones right here, these are lilies. You guys have definitely seen seen these around. There's a ton of different colors. There's a ton of different varieties. These are yellow uh, Asiatic lilies. They've got um, oriental lilies. There's um, all sorts of stuff. They're really, really cool. Most of them get really tall. I think I got a dwarf version. They're really pretty though. These guys, they're yellow. I put them next to the steps kind of to brighten the house up. There's another set over there. I will work my way over and show you. Lilies are probably one of my favorite flowers. They are absolutely gorgeous. The only thing is they bloom early and then they're done. So unfortunately, they don't ever bloom. They do not keep coming back. Uh, I wish they did, but the roses do, and I will definitely go over the roses for you guys. Um, these are little cool plants I picked up at Walmart for like a buck, man. They're, they're little diaceas. Check this out. If I can get close enough, I hope I hope it focuses, but you can see it. They look like little mouths, man. They got teeth and everything. Rawr. What's up, buddy? They're pretty cool. They're supposed to get about a foot tall. I mean, for a dollar, dude, you can't go wrong. Takes up a little space. I like that. Got some more glads over here. Check out the strawberry pot. There is some fruit on there. What's up, buddy? This, we actually had a nice hanging plant last year. It looked really cool, um, but we went with some strawberries this year. Keep them off the ground. Keep the, the animals away from eating them. Uh, I've got some million bells over here. I've got to put in the garden. There's some impatience, and that is actually a tobacco plant right there. Has a bloom during the day. That thing does not smell, but at nighttime, it's fragrant. It's really, really bizarre, but good stuff either way. So let's work our way to the front of the garden. I feel like this is deja vu. I did this yesterday with my boss's camera, and it shook everywhere, and I couldn't see nothing. So back with the 480. I, sorry guys, not HD, but what up yo, I got some more lilies in the front, these are whites and yellows, they are very pretty, there's a bunch more still ready to bloom, which is going to be awesome, because I like them to keep coming, man, I, I definitely uh, hate it when they're bloomed and done, because they're one of my favorites, I've got some lily of the valley in the front here, those are pretty much done, they've already bloomed, they have little kind of like white bell flowers, they use them a lot in weddings, because they're pretty fragrant, um, this guy here is a nice red rose, I don't know the name of it, stupid me, uh, ended up throwing away the tags when I planted them because I'm like, ah, who, who cares what type it is, but now I really wish I did. I'm going to have to do some research, but look at all the buds on that thing. That is insane right there. Holy crap. Um, that is from probably the fertilizer I used. I used some bloom boosting stuff from miracle Grow, and it really makes everything kind of just come up and look freakish in nature and has awesome colors and stuff. So hopefully that will uh, come out and I'll get to show you guys in a future vlog. This is an oriental lily. Uh, this is, a, it's called a muscadet. It's kind of like white and pink. Uh, that will bloom late summer, early fall, so I wanted some garden color um, later on in the fall. This is a calla lily over here. This is pretty cool. Kind of looks maybe-ish like a tulip. Uh, has really cool foliage. It has a lot of different colors on the uh, leaves. Of course, this one doesn't. Uh, the one over there did. I'll show you that again. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool little flower, though. That's, uh, yeah, that's a calla lily. There's another oriental lily over there that should add some color. There is a million bell. These guys are so cute. I love them. They're pretty happy. This is a new guy. I uh, just put him in last week. Probably going to take a little bit to really root, get get grounded nicely, and then that will bloom like crazy all summer long. Uh, this is another rose right here. This is a purple guy. Really, really pretty. Really fragrant. Unlike this fella right here, this guy does not smell. This guy does. I think they're sister flowers, though. I mean, they look really similar. The rose itself has a very, very similar pattern. This guy's red. Again, no fragrance. This one is purple and does have a fragrance. Really, really nice smell. Got a ton of glads right here. Boom, 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 ba -doom, ba -doom, boom, 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 glads everywhere. These are going to be awesome. They're going to come up. They're going to have a ton of different colors. I planted red, white, yellow, orange, fiery purple. I mean, just all sorts of stuff. Some more lilies here that will bloom soon. These guys are 
lagging behind a little bit. They are really small. Really small. I don't know if they're not getting enough sun, but I mean, they're in direct sunlight. I can't imagine they're not getting enough sun. But anyway, those should bloom pretty soon, hopefully next week or so. This guy is probably one of my favorites. Definitely my favorite lily in the garden. This is a stargazer lily, all right? It has gotten huge. This thing has probably tripled or quadrupled in size. This thing is just absolutely massive. Has buds all over the top of it already. This is gonna bloom probably, again, late summer, early fall. These pods right here, this is gonna get probably five or six inches in height. And then just boom, you get a massive flower. It looks like those yellow lilies over there, but they're humongous and they look like a, like a salmon almost color. And they're real, real strong and fragrant. They smell absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they smell absolutely great and they look gorgeous. Uh, this guy here, this is a Papa Remillard rose. Probably, or definitely my favorite rose in the garden. My mama bought it for me. Really, really fragrant. Really looking nice. Mm, smells so good. That guy is a diesel, diesel rose right there. Uh, this guy right here, I'm not sure the name of it, but the yellow guy is doing real good this year too. Got a lot of buds on it and a lot of blooms already. They are very fragrant. This um, this rose right here is really like perfume. It smells so good. Not like old lady perfume. Like it smells like crap, but really beautiful scent. Uh, and then this guy here too. This is a full sale. It's called full sale. If you look it up, uh, Google it, you'll find it's a white rose. Really fragrant as well. Smells heavenly most of these are really sweet um i think the yellow one is is more of a sweet one and then this rose guy over here uh peach guy over here i'll show you that smells probably one of the best scents in the garden um these glads i planted right in the middle of these two roses are going to be awesome because they come right up and then everything blends together and you get a ton of different colors and a ton of different uh looking flowers and it's just going to be so cool uh, again i got more glads in the front here like i said i went absolutely glad crazy um looking forward to seeing the colors i just they're one of my favorites definitely this is a yarrow this guy took over he is humongous he went from uh, a little little guy to a big guy uh this is probably the third season i've had him it's the third season i've had the garden so he went in right away uh just kind of took over that area and is doing its thing pretty cool not any colorful flower there isn't really any scent on it but it just adds a little uh you know love to the garden i guess you can say now this rose right here this is a new fella i put him in this year planted him about a month and a half maybe two months ago he was really uh, a tiny guy i mean he just it came bare root you can order him from uh, a nursery had no no dirt or anything with it i just planted him in put a little compost in there and booyah i've got a monster monster rose check this guy out he is real pretty get out of here bug really really pretty really really fragrant that guy is awesome mm, let me get sniff it Mwah. Nice, very nice, very nice. All right, so got some more lilies behind these. These are more Asiatic lilies. They are wicked cool looking. Check these guys out. This is a deep red along with some orange guys. This whole thing will probably be in bloom by mid next week. And then I'm gonna just show you again. It's gonna be an absolute fireball of colors. Really sick stuff. Seems like the uh, orange ones took over and I got the red ones in the back. I actually planted these two years ago, three years ago. And I did two oranges and one red and then they've spread like this so that's pretty cool looking hopefully that's going to get bigger i've got to divide that this year which means just pull it up cut them in half and kind of just move them around the garden uh, perennials over a course of time they get too big for their area and you really want to split them up and then spread them out a lot of times people will give their stuff away because it just gets too crazy and you know over over the course of time that'll probably take up that whole area so uh, i would definitely be uh, looking to split those up these guys right here look at the little happy little million bells they are so cute they're so real happy this is all on one one uh, root man it's weird I, I opened up the package and they were all together i figured it would be like four different plants because there's a purple there's a pink and there's a fuchsia but they're all on one root so i just planted them stuck them in one spot and they're doing pretty healthy um this guy's a little dead right here you deadhead these and they get more flowers over the course of the summer pretty neat stuff i got some more glads again over here glad crazy check these dudes out all right this is another lily another asiatic lily absolutely gorgeous second favorite only to my stargazers but look at the colors on these things i hope you guys can see it they are just insane they've got yellow in the middle they're dark pink spots and then pink on the outside wicked cool again no fragrant unfortunately man the lilies just don't smell only the stargazers do and the stargazers are really really nice this is an azalea bush that thing is done and bloomed already got some more uh, glads in a pot over there and just glad crazy um this is a little uh forget me not he looks a little hurt right now he's trying man he really is he's got a little couple flowers on him with a buddy do good you gotta sing to your flowers too that is a necessity you must sing even though if you sing bad you gotta sing to them or at least give them some love come out here i come out here at night i rock out the flashlight dude i'm like mm. 
come out with a beer walking through the garden it's just it's awesome i love this stuff so hope you guys are liking this um this is a butterfly bush right here this thing is actually going to get probably at least half the height of my house um really cool pink uh sorry really cool purple flower they're really fragrant they attract bees and hummingbirds really cool stuff that thing took an absolute beating we had a really bad ice storm last year and it knocked off like half the plant i uh, chopped it all the way down as you can see from this all the way here that's a new piece that grew from this spring so uh, most of the, the plant right now is all that new growth it takes a little bit for it to really get um stable and then get some flowers this guy here is a phlox. He's a peppermint phlox. He's going to look like a little peppermint candy when he blooms. That guy is, again, late summer, early fall. These things are wicked cool. I hope you guys can see them. I know they're in the shade. But this is a morning glory and moonflower mix. Uh, what I did, I hope you guys can see this too. I ran a fishing line all the way up my gutter and then fastened it up there. And what happens is this guy... He, he puts out feelers and he crawls up the entire length of that and then blooms. So in the morning you'll get the morning glories which is kind of like a, it's a petunia looking flower. It's purple. That blooms, it's pretty much done by say 11 o'clock and then the moon flowers come out at night. So I'll have blooms the entire piece here and it looks like it's growing up. It's it's just sick. It looks like it's growing up a, a invisible string, you know, because you can't see the string once it grows around it. Pretty neat. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Got some more lilies in the front. These guys are struggling a little. They're not doing too well. They do have sun in the morning, but not enough in the in the uh, afternoon, I think. So hopefully they bloom. We got a hydrangea bush here. It looks a little beat up. Again, that ice storm really devastated most of my garden, at least the big stuff. Uh, that's going to bloom. They're already starting. You can see them here. This is a really, uh, really small one. This is going to get real big. They look like kind of like cotton ball um, blooms when they do bloom, and it's going to be probably like a, a whitish blue. Pretty cool, light blue. Got some more glads over here. This guy right here is a nice looking rose bush. This is a pink rose. This guy and that guy over there, that is a peach one. I don't know the names of them. I've got to do some more research. Again, I, I threw out all the freaking paperwork like an idiot. But I move these from the back of my house. Uh, do not plant roses in not full sun, all right? They need full sun. They are going to hurt. They're going to cry. They're going to whine. They're not going to bloom. You need them in full sun. So I moved them out front and they're so happy they bloomed twice already each they are just getting big they're my little boys they're getting big maybe they're girls i don't know actually they're probably little both because they pollinate themselves good stuff but anyway um really really cool looking flowers i love the roses when these get bloomed there's a whole bunch on top here on um, that guy over there is real fragrant too i will definitely uh, show you guys in a future vlog uh, let's go to the clematis right here. Potted clematis. These all bloomed on top already. My girl got me another uh, set. I put them in. They grew down there and bloomed. Pretty cool. Not fragrant, but definitely a nice little accent to the garden. Pansies. My girl, again, wanted to put the pansies in. A lot of cool colors in there. Some yellows and uh, purples and oranges and all sorts of stuff. They get perked up in the summertime. They get a lot of little flowers on them. Just look a little happy. So put those in there. These are balloon flowers. These are real cool. When these start to bloom, you're actually going to see little pods. They get big. They get real like fluffy. They look like a lollipop. And then they burst and you see like a big old flower. It's real cool. Um, if you cut those when you have to after they bloom, you cut them off and then they grow back. But they have like this milky substance in the middle of their shoots, man. It's really bizarre. But anyway, we'll get back to that. This is is an oriental lily the muscadet I, I ordered a bunch of these planted them all around the garden for fall foliage look at this he's got buds on him already man what that's hot i got another one under there that i'll show you when i pull back the japanese maple this thing i got two years ago no last year actually wicked cool i wanted japanese maple forever now you can actually see there's blood good is mainly the one that you're going to be seeing this is a um Oh, I forgot the name of it. I got a brain fart. Um, Blood Good is the main guy. Uh, uh, I don't know. Fire Red, we'll call it for right now. But what happens is with the sun goes right through the leaves and then you can actually see like it glows uh, really sick stuff I'm gonna look that up I'll leave it in the description I can't remember the name of it for fire good fire oh, geez I feel like an idiot so much for the garden vlog <laughs> this is another uh, muscadet right here he's got some buds on him already pretty cool stuff again another balloon flower this one I think is purple and the other one over there is white but look at the buds and blooms on this guy he is ready to go for the summer he's like get in there rob smells real good too uh these came back man these are annuals dude they do not normally come back but that's a snapdragon apparently if you leave them in and you don't pull them out uh they seed over the uh winter and then you get new stuff in the in the spring so that's cool i didn't even plant those uh this year those came back by themselves they are seeds from last year's snapdragons are real cute they got a nice little uh look to them they're kind of fragile they, they limp in the big sun you need to keep water really well but we'll get back to that when they start blooming 
bleeding heart here, likes the shade more than the sun. Planted them here kind of just for, uh, you know, to fill the space. Really cool bloom though. That actually looks like a heart that has like white little droppings out of it. So they call it a bleeding heart. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, that's already bloomed and kind of over and done with. Uh, let's move to the back. This is a mint basket. Gonna make some uh, mojitos. Yeah, buddy. These are new additions too. This guy right here and right here, they are blueberry bushes. They're very, very tiny when I got them. These things are gonna get massive. This one is a, a regular size. It's probably gonna get 10 feet tall. Um, that one over there is a dwarf. What you have to do with butter, uh, what you have to do with blueberry bushes is plant two different varieties and then they cross pollinate and that's how you get the fruit. If I just planted one by themselves, you would not get fruit. So I uh, had to plant them together. Gonna be cool in the next few years. Probably gonna take uh, two or three years to really get uh, a lot of fruit but my parents have them now they're about six years old and they get a quart of blueberries a day from probably midsummer to almost to the fall that's insane so i'm looking forward to that blueberries are good antioxidants they taste very good in cereal and they're just good to eat man blueberry pie is banging too I made two raised gardens. These are the vegetable gardens. Um, not a ton going on here. Some tomatoes in the back. I've got some lettuce running in the middle. There are some bell peppers, and I've got some pimiento peppers. They're good for like omelets and stuff. Um, back there, those got to be more tomatoes. I didn't plant those. This is my girl stuff. So, um, got some cucumbers in the back growing along the fence. Got some green beans getting ready to go. Some more. Uh, tomatoes up here these are actually look at they got little tomatoes on them these are cherry tomatoes uh little guys but they're gonna do work they're gonna get in uh and broccoli dude yeah bro broccoli rob haha <laughs> that's cool so um that's it for kind of the vegetables i got a herb basket here my mom made for me there's some basil there's thyme there's scallions there's lettuce there's carrots and uh, oregano maybe i don't know parsley something like that pretty cool stuff back to the back of the house whoa baby Whoa, look at the little deck. Weep here has a little deck. <laughs> Check out the yard. There is a trampoline. Really fun on that. Playscape. On the other hand, if anyone ever asks you to help build a playscape, run as fast as you possibly can. That thing took me 23 hours to put together, all right? Absolute nightmare. I'll never do it again. Not taking it apart. I'm going to smash it apart when that thing falls and starts to get uh, beat up. Absolute nightmare. 13 freaking hours one day and like... 12 and uh, just just a terrible day it was on memorial weekend last year absolute nightmare little fire pit over there good stuff gotta have a fire gotta have a uh, little beers and uh, marshmallows very nice so back here again these are the astilbe these like really really ton of water they grow in swamps mainly uh, don't need a ton of sun either they're pretty easy to grow you just kind of stick them in and they do their thing those flowers will actually last for probably another month or so they're they're pretty cool nice foliage they look good next to the hostas over there my girl doesn't like hostas but you know what they take up space I think they look cool. I mean, they got, they're got they flowering. They're not bad. Whatever. I mean, I was going to care about when I moved here. And she's like, no, no, keep them. And then, ha, now she hates them and I like them. So, whatever. They're staying in. It's my garden. Dang it. Another bleeding heart. This guy is huge. He spread pretty good. Again, they're done bloomed. These are primrose. These are from my uncle, actually. He gave me these. I planted seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then they spread like a mova. They are crazy, dude. There's just a lot going on here. Probably by next year, these will be completely filled in. You will see no gaps. Really cool, though. They come up and they're uh, nice little happy flowers in the spring. They bloom probably early June. So pretty good stuff. This one is another bleeding heart planted on the other side. This is where I had the two rose bushes last year, and they just absolutely hated it back here. They're like, no, get me out of here, man. So I did. I got them out of here. Got some more... Um, more strawberries in the pots up here. Woohoo! And then I got a passion fruit plant. This is my girl. She likes it. I'm like, whatever. We'll keep it outside because uh, it won't do good inside. But it's doing pretty good. We brought it out here. It was in the house for the winter and now it's thriving again. This is another Uncle Jeff Supreme right here. This guy is called an elephant ear. He is humongous. He is tripled in size by the time I got him here. Uh, right now, this probably wouldn't even fit in the back of my car. It is just ginormous. Really cool looking. Kind of looks like a jungle. Got some jungle fever. This is a hibiscus tree, hibiscus plant, hibiscus bush, I don't know, really cool, it's called the Rose of Sharon, blooms late summer, early fall, it will have uh, kind of like a white flower with a purple center, definitely very cool, one of my favorites, problem is, is right here, right there in the house, <laughs> we're going to cut a hole in the wall and put a freaking window, probably a bay window, which is going to make me have to either move this or trim this massively. Not looking forward to it because I bet the roots are absolutely humongous. Usually roots are about two or three times the diameter of the freaking bush that it 
is, is growing. So um, that's going to be an absolute nightmare to get out there and not kill it. Um, I'm hoping for the best, actually. Uh, I got some day lilies down here, some more calla lilies. They are coming up. These I planted last year, and they're just still doing their thing, coming up. They should bloom pretty soon. This is another hosta, absolutely monster guy right here. This was here when I moved in. I did not plant this. It has got to be here 10 years, I would think. I mean, the, the actual leaf is huge it does have a little bloom in there right now they're coming up trying to do some things but this is an absolute monster plant that thing is just ridiculously huge so pretty cool that is the wee peeler show uh here's my backyard i got some tarps with some wood i cut two massive trees down last year as you can see i got a big tree line in the back um definitely got to get in some uh get my buddy back out here and cut some more trees down i've got two over here that i want to cut down um it's a lot of work, man. He got to drive his truck back here and then start chopping from the top. And it's just it's a pain in the neck, and he's real busy this year, and I just don't have the, the desire to get up there myself and fall off freaking monster, monster freaking thingy, mabob, or whatever the hell you call it. Anyway, this is going to probably round it out. This is a big rhododendron bush over here. Really cool. It's already bloomed and done, though, unfortunately. I should definitely start these vlogs earlier. Um, this is a little Japanese maple. This one is a blood good. Um, pretty neat. He is real small right now, probably about two feet. Hopefully in a few years that should get to about 15 feet. Uh, I'm going to have to knock out some of these trees up here in order to let that betty grow. Uh, this is a mock orange bush. This is one I planted last year. He actually got a lot bigger, probably about double in size. Really, really fragrant, uh, kind of citrusy smell, almost like an orange, hence the mock orange bush name. Got a lot of leaves. Finally, he was struggling over the winter. He got nailed in that storm too. Uh, he's doing pretty good, so uh, definitely hope we get some more blooms next year. I've only got a couple on there now, which is pretty disappointing because last year it was absolutely covered in white. Uh, last but not least, I guess, is my weeping cherry tree. Put this in about two months ago. I uh, had a lot of ton of nice, lot of nice <laughs> white flowers all over it. Very fragrant. And just, uh, yeah, they all fell off, and now you got a weeping cherry. So it has that weeping effect to it, but with the white, uh, white flowers, it's really, really cool. Really striking. We walk out to the street here. I've got a can of the, the house and uh, the whole garden and whatnot. Pretty good stuff. Got that bay window put in about a week ago. I actually had a hole in the wall and I tweeted it. People were like, what did you cut a hole in your wall for? <laughs> well, I'll put the window in, man. So it's looking pretty good. I uh, got some more stuff up here. This is like a type of salvia or type of um, sage, I think. Something like that. They attract bumblebees, as you can see. There's a little guy right there. Bumblebee putting in some work. That is a really cool. I think I moved that from the front. That was here when I got here. Um, but it's really, really nice, vibrant uh, purple color. Got some white and yellow lilies here. This is an aster, again, from Uncle Jeff. Jefferson J hookup with the flowers. That's an aster that comes up real dark uh, purple in the late fall. Uh, that's really cool. It looks good next to the mailbox. And then last but not least is I guess over here some more stuff that my uncle gave me. I've got some Chasta daisies. I've got some Nepeta. I've got some. Dang, dude, busted over the 20 minute mark. My camera shut off. Chasta daisies here. That's a Nepeta plant over here. Again, this is Uncle Jeff. Uh, this is me, a Leatris. This is pretty cool. It has a really, really neat looking uh, purple stalk flower with a bunch of different petals on it. I'll show you that when that guy blooms. And then a knockout rose bush, which already bloomed but is doing its work again. It's got a ton of bloom right in the middle. Get ready to go. Uh, that should be pretty cool. Uh, under the birch tree here is a kind of a. What do they call that? Oriental grass. That should look pretty cool. Um, that gets humongous. That thing already probably tripled in size. Another bleeding heart. Uh, a yarrow I moved from my other garden, which looks like absolute crap right now. I think I need some water or something. It's doing something weird. Um, yeah, but that's basically it. Uh, we Peelers humble abode. The vlog is over. I will uh, definitely do this during the week. Hopefully get you guys another um, another vlog going. The issue with the garden is most people, the, the, I guess the thing they say in gardens is, oh, you should have seen my garden last week, or you should see it in a week. It's going to be this much better. So what I'm going to do is probably do it once a week for you guys. Hopefully let you guys know, um, you know what's going on in the world of Weep Healer. Check out the uh, garden, you know, see the stuff bloom throughout the year. should be pretty cool. Maybe I'll do some pictures, mix them in, kind of give you an idea of what happens from the beginning to the end. Uh, definitely should have started this earlier in the year. I didn't really intend to do vlogs unfortunately but vlogs are really uh, popular so I'm gonna keep doing them hopefully next year I can start real early show you guys when this is bare I mean there's nothing here in the early spring and then it just comes up and it looks so cool so a lot of work went into this I hope you guys appreciate the hope you guys appreciate it you know I, it's pretty cool stuff and I, I like showing it off so um, yeah stay tuned next week I will get vlog number two of garden yeah thanks for watching peace